गलत प्राप्त ए बी सी आर थ्री आर सेस थ्री आर सेस इन ये रेस द प्रॉबिलिटी द प्रॉबिलिटी ऑफ ए to win the race the race is twice that of twice that of b and probability probability of b is twice that of twice that of c what are the what are the probabilities probabilities of a comma b and c to win to win the race to win the race so that means in a race the two three horses are participating suppose c for example if a wins the race b and c lose the match if b wins ac loses c wins ab loses that means a comma b comma c are what mutually exclusive events one thing we could remember and one more thing only in that race three Horses are there. That means A, B, C. So if you suppose them, they are the events A event, B event, C event. They are exhaustive events. That means A union, B union, C is equal to sample space. So what is the probability of sample space? P of S is equal to n of S by n of S. You get one. That means in this problem, P of A union, B union, C becomes one, and also A, B, C are mutually exclusive events p of a union b union c becomes p of a plus p of b plus p of c that is from probability axiom that is actually union axiom from union axiom so using the relations here we easily we can find out probability of winning the game winning the race by a b and c respectively we can find out so first let us suppose the events required events let a comma b comma c be the events events of events of win events of winning race by Three horses, horses A, B, C, respectively, respectively. So here clear. I already told you. Now A, B, C are mutually. exclusive and exhaustive events and exhaustive events 
x has two events that is a intersection b intersection c is equal to pi and a union b union c is equal to s. So, what is given here? So, we have according to the problem probability of a probability of a means probability of a to win the race is twice of probability of b that is p of a is equal to 2 times p of b whereas p of b is 2 times of p of c I need not repeat see you can go through the question p of b is equal to 2 times p of z. Now this p of a also becomes 4 into c p of b is equal to okay, p of b now okay now we can write p of a union b union c that is equal to p of s from axioms of probability axioms of probability this we can write p of a plus p of b plus p of c because they are mutually exclusive events and p of s means 1 let us substitute here see p of a p of b means you can write p of a by 2 plus p of c c here p of a by 4 that is p of c because p of b is p of a by 2 and p of c is p of, p of a by 4 this is p of a by 4 is equal to 1 multiply with 4 what do you get 4 p of a plus 2 p of a plus p of a is equal to 4 this will be 7 p of a is equal to 4 p of a is equal to 4 by 7. So, now p of b what is p of b? p of b is equal to half of the p of a. So, half into p of a that is half into 4 by 7. So, 2 by 7. Now, p of c we have to find out p of c is equal to 1 by 4th of p of a. So, 1 by 4th of p of a means 1 by 4 into 4 by 7. So, 4 4 gets cancelled 1 by 7. So, probability of winning the race of by a is 4 by 7, probability of winning the race by b is 2 by 7 probability of winning the race by c is 1 by 7.